Major development concerning the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. President Biden just announced pharmaceutical giant Merck will help manufacture the one-dose vaccine. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us with the latest on this un unusual arrangement, would you say, Doc? Sure is, Devin and Kim. So it's a sure sign of the times as two competitors are joining together to boost production of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine. Merck had previously been working on two of its own vaccine candidates, but they stopped that work after early clinical data basically showed poor immune response. Now they're partnering with Johnson & Johnson to jumpstart production of its newly authorized vaccine. Two of the largest healthcare and pharmaceutical companies in the world that are usually competitors are working together on the vaccine. Johnson & Johnson and Merck will work together to expand the production of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine. President Joe Biden heralding this historic partnership. Under the agreement, Merck will dedicate two of its facilities to the Johnson & Johnson effort. One will manufacture the vaccine itself, the other will perform the fill finish, where the vaccine is put in vials and packaged for shipping. This is the type of collaboration between companies we saw in World War II. In addition, Johnson & Johnson's vaccine manufacturing facilities will now begin to operate 24-7. We're now on track to have enough vaccine supply for every adult in America by the end of May. Merck will add to the efforts already underway in Michigan. Grand River Aseptic Manufacturing in Grand Rapids has been working on the fill finish for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine since last fall. Security concerns prevent them from saying exactly how many vials they've produced, but the company has added 125 new positions over the past six months, and they intend to hire another 75 employees. The team have done amazing work, and we are incredibly proud of what they've done and what we've accomplished. And ultimately, this has played a significant role in saving lives. Now, if you are keeping count, that is now two of the three authorized vaccines being produced in part right here in Michigan. Well, Michiganders get it done. So, uh, Frank, do we know how quickly Merck will be able to ramp up the production of this Johnson & Johnson vaccine? Well, you know, Kim, that's not clear. Some experts estimate it could take two months to convert its facilities, but it may be possible to do it faster, especially with the full support of the government behind this new effort. Sure. Back to you. Yeah. Okay. Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate it.